off we go. It's a bit bright outside, sorry about that. I can't help how bright it is outside. And it's too damn warm to put up the blackout blind, because all that does is absorb heat. Anyway, hello everyone. Welcome back to Inscription. I couldn't wait. I had to <laughs> sack off the responsibility I had after the last play session in order to carry on playing this, because I, I must see what this sort of top-down RPG is all about. Uh, I, when I was thinking about coming to play this, I did kind of think I wish it was still the card game, because I love the card game, that is so good, and it feels like we've moved on from that. I don't know if it's coming back, if this is just a short excursion or whatever. You know me, I'll probably die in seconds and have to go back again. Okay. Can't jump off the bridge, that's probably a good thing. Is this what I look like, or is this the lucky carder? He didn't look much like that. Let's talk to you. Space. Woof, I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I didn't know we were playing Undertale. I should be able to get this bridge fixed in. Full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes for you to defeat one of those scribes. So, uh, come back later. Alright. I don't know why she's green there. Well, to be fair, she was black and white in her portrait, wasn't she? Rather than coloured, so we don't know what colour she was. Let's have a look. This looks like it would be Leshy's cabin, doesn't it? Maybe he's a scribe I can beat. I already have once. Two does not equal three. We've got a lot going on here. Oh, it's the prospector! Dag nab it! That dang hound got herself lost again. That dang hound got herself lost again! You think you're getting past? Think again! Not till I get some proof of my girls all right. Okay. Failing accent aside, we need to find his bloodhound. I saw some eyes in the forest there. Ah, uh, no, I think that's just a, a decorative sprite. Because I saw more. You pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. I received a beastly card pack. Oh my god, we get to open card packs. That's so exciting. Okay, at the... Yeah, we know these cards as well. Oh, no, we don't. Right, so we've got the elk. Two, four. Two sacrifice. And he moves. The mantis god we like. It's a rare as well. As denoted by that stuff around the side. The bloodhound. What if we just bring him the bloodhound card? I think we'll try that. Uh, but what are these? A 0-3, and it's a practice wizard, so it's got like a, a diamond up in the top right. This one is an automaton, and it's got three times blue rectangle, and it's a 1-1. One, one. Those scare me. I'm going to go for the Bloodhound. The cards. Oh, the cards were added to your collection. I didn't need to worry. Right. I found your Bloodhound. You had a hearing. Get some proof she's all right. Maybe get her some food. Come to think of it, might have left some in that dang cabin. Okay. Can we go round? Can we cheese the game? No? Okay. Let's go into the dang cabin. Work our way left, uh, right to left. I mean, that's Leshy, isn't it? This is the cabin! That's the safe. It was 273, if I'm not very much mistaken. There it is. You take a stinking pile of meat from the safe. Baden Toad where the meat once was. Oh no! Oh, we gotta do these again. Okay. Uh, hit the bell. So we're doing one damage there. Right, we're doing one. That's gonna do one. Two. Three. Tell you what, if we can just get that. Yeah, one, two, three, four. You're going to be there no matter what. Ah, but if you, you're you going to pop up there, die. You're going to do one damage to him. You're going to insta-kill him. And then you'll do two damage, so we should be on two damage there. All be on five. I really don't know how that worked, but hey, we did it, and we found a beastly card pack. I assume this is good that we're getting all these. New! Okay. Elk Fawn. We'll go into a more powerful form. We know about the Elk Fawn. The Mole Man looks different in this. I can't believe we've turned into an action RPG. I assume it's an action RPG. It looks like one. But a card collectible one. Ooh, the walkers. Four bones. When the walkers dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. Okay. So four bones, and it's a one-two. 
And then the practice wizard. Okay. We'll take him. Another beastly card pack. Shiny Charizard? No. Bloodhound. When an opposing creature is... Yeah, we know that. Mulman again. Squirrel Bull. At the end of the owner's turn, Squirrel Bull will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop, an old, and drop a squirrel in their old space. Huh, I like it. Gem Fiend. If Gem Fiend's owner controls no Mox cards, Gem Fiend perishes. I mean, so when it said new game, it's, it's a new game, right? <laughs> it's a new game. Uh, and then we've got walkers again. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's pop into here. I'll talk to you. Ooh, it's the trader. You wish to trade? You don't perchance have any pelts. No, that is disappointing, but I also accept foils. Interesting. Foils are sexy cards, aren't they? Um, I have zero foils at the moment, I think that means, right? When Ouroboros perishes, a copy of it is created in your hand. Okay, we have zero foils, so we can't buy anything. That's fine, we'll come back here. Hang on, what was a beastly pack? Uh, containing one rare and two common beastly cards and two common cards of any type. Oh my god, it's Pokemon. It's, well, it's the Pokemon trading card game, isn't it? Hey, Leshy. Sorry for beating you. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me. I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first... I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera, not the one I used to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates, the prospect, the angler, and the trapper, they each require a photo before they will consider battling you, so such as the prospector. Maybe I take a photo of a bloodhound. Return to me when they are all defeated. So you're like end boss. This is... Don't tell me we've got a day-night cycle going on here. I swear it was day when we arrived. Oh. We took a picture of the bloodhound after throwing something in the well. Oh, no, no, we put meat in a bowl. It's a bowl. Two does not equal three. We're well aware of this. Oh, it's the angler. No. No fish, no pass. So we want to take a photo of a fish. I think taking a photo of this bit here would probably be a good shout, but... Maybe we need to throw some chum in or something. Maybe we'll find a bait bucket. Uh, let's let's go and talk to the prospector. Well, I'll be darned, that's my girl. I'll let you past me and into yonder pond. But, dag nabbit, first we got a battle. I'm gonna have some lemon and ginger tea. Delicious. Your deck ain't right. Get ye at least 20 cards in it. Tab. Ah, okay. Invalid. Oh, we haven't actually built the deck. <gasps> it's a deck builder all of a sudden. Wow. I don't know what this is. Oh my god. Okay. Gemfiend. If Gemfiend's owner controls no mox card, he perishes. Right, let's find a mox card. Sapphire mox. Ruby mox. Emerald mox. Okay, so we just need to control... Oh, we've got loads of those. Can't be sacrificed, can't be sacrificed, can't be sacrificed. So mox cards are kind of like... And they don't do anything. Zero ones. While Emerald Ox is on the board, Mox is on the board. It provides a green gem, an orange gem to its owner. A blue gem to its owner. All right. Oh, and these presumably require green gems to play. Yeah, because that's the cost. You require a blue gem to play, and then you will stay there until I have no Mox cards. This is all wizard stuff, isn't it? Because I chose to be the Magnificus, right? I chose to have the wizardy stuff. I wish I hadn't. This looks really difficult. <laughs> um, automaton. We don't know what blue is. But then again, we weren't doing robots and we weren't doing people either. But that's nice to have. And we've got all of our usual beasts. Let's make some cards then. So to get you down, I just play it. That happens with all of those. Practice wizard is 0-3. Mage Knight is the same as the Gem Fiend, except it's a 1-3 instead of a 2-1, and it requires orange. 
Blue Mage. When Blue Mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. Equal to the number of Mox cards on your side of the board. Oh, okay, so he's extra draw, which is what presumably that means. And then he's a 0-1. I don't really see this being that strong at the moment. We don't have any insane animals. But, to be fair... Come on, then. Let's, let's start playing with it. It doesn't matter if we lose. We'll take two of those. Two of those. Two of those. If Mage Pupil's owner controls no Mox cards, Mage Pupil perishes. He's just a 1-1. One, one. Alright, we'll have one of each of the ones... Oh, not you. Practice Wizard's a bit shit. Uh, the Gem Fiend... The Junior Sage and the Mage Knight should get us somewhere. We'll have a Blue Mage in there as well. Oh, we do have two. Okay. Um, I'm on 10 out of 20. Maybe we'll chuck in another three of those. Just take all of our Mox cards. Have we got Moxie? Yes, we have. We could have a couple of those just to add in. Do you spend the green Moxes? I think we'll just take another one of each of these guys. Okay, 18. Um, you don't require anything to get on the board. We'll take a... Now we won't take a practice wizard. There you go, 20. Deck is built. <gasps> alter deck! That is how we alter our deck. Fantastic, okay. Right. Let's fight. Yeehaw! You fixed it now. Let's battle. Okay. Greetings. My consciousness has been... No, I'm not going to do a voice. It's been summoned, it seems. But for what purpose? Because you are magnificus. Ah, you have selected my starter deck and require a short lesson. You see, magic cull cards are powered by mocks, though some refer to them as gems. Oh, I'm glad we've still got a card game to play. If you have one of these mocks on the board, you may play cards with that cost. Start by playing one. Oh, good, we get a bit of a tutorial. So that's the scales, that's the balance, that's something. Oh, it's batteries! They look like batteries, that's what the robots need. Of course it is. What's this? That makes me nervous, I don't want to use that yet. And a hammer? Can't right-click it. Okay. Start by playing a Mox. Um, we've got an orange guy, so let's play an orange Mox, and we'll put it, I don't know, opposite your Squirrel. Squirrel's not going to do anything, is it? You see? Now you may play magical cards of that gem's colour. It is quite simple, really. I cannot comprehend how my students struggle sometimes. Sometimes struggle. But I have digressed. Carry on. I await you atop my tower. Okay, we've got two batteries. Maybe that's each time we get hit, we get batteries. Oh, I don't like that. Top your tower. Okay. Wizard in a tower. No worries. So it's one, two. Okay, three, four, five. Gotcha. I was thinking the arrow was going to fit in the middle of the things. Is my camera in the right place? Yeah, that'll do. Okay. You're a pain. Uh, putting this down, is that going to use up the mocks? Probably not. So you're, you're going to go wherever I put you. The Bloodhound leaps over to block. And we get flavor text. Right, so it doesn't use that up. That's really cool. Um, I think then... Well, let's get the green one down as well, right? And put you there. Should have done it the other way around, because then if the Bloodhound had hit him, we'd have had a bit more time on the board, but that's okay. There's no room to play that, but you may use the hammer to destroy your own creature and make space. Wonderful. And he can stay there, because, like, if I control no Mox cards, I could get rid of the green one now and put him down. I think that's what we're going to do. It's all fun. Okay. Go. Now we get two damage on them. He gets hit for one. He tanks the thing. Yeah, we're good. Ding. Oh, what a different game this is. What happens when I get full batteries? And what's this? <laughs> okay. Oh, I shouldn't have got rid of the green one. Bad mistake. Um, well, we can't put anything else down, because if we put down... Yeah, I think we just leave it as we are. We can do two damage, that's fine. 
He'll balance out my two damage. Um, maybe we put you down there to start killing that naughty bloodhound. Coyote's going to kill him next turn, but that shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Ah, oh, excellent stuff. So, what are we going to do here? I think we replace that with the green one and then stick the green guy there. Yeah? Do we want to replace it? I suppose there's no need to, but we will lose it anyway, so... I suppose there's no need to replace it yet. Plus we'll tank a hit, so put that there. That there. Extra damage to you, sir! Uh, we're going to do two damage and win now, I believe. We'll put that there just to tank it, and... One, two! Okay. That was a different interface to try and deal with. There's fair, you beat me like a dog. Take this! Some say these here cards are better than gold! And that's not likely coming from you. Another beastly card pack. Oh. Squirrel ball. Uro Yuli, we like you. A salmon, waterborne. Also, at the end of the, the owner's turn, salmon will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Waterborne that moves, that's interesting. 2-2 two, two as well. Thick droid. Not bad. Might chuck him in my deck since we're getting lots of batteries. And one more emerald mox. Nice Adam. Okay. The way to yonder pond is clear. Let's go to yonder pond, shall we? Ooh, this is where we're going to catch a fish. Took a picture of a fish. That's the angler sorted. Oh my god, what is that? Place the photo of bait on the line. Place it. Take a photo! Yeah! Ah, let's get away from that nasty great shark. That was fairly straightforward. Let's show it to the angler and fight him. Fresh, fresh fish. Good. Still must beat. Yeah, we can take you with our current deck. I think that was an okay deck. Oh, I've started to get into tea recently. It's good stuff. And it's wonders for the voice. Especially when you're commenting for long hours. Ah, you would be very good. Let's put that down. Do we want it to be killed instantly? No, but we do want it to be tanked. So we'll put that down there. Oh, we want the 2-2 two -two to be tanked. Ah, he's going to move along. Okay. That's fine. We'll put you down over here. Oh, but you're just a sacrifice card, so we'll put, we'll put that there. Yep, you draw on the power of my gems. Give me two more cards. I'm sorry. Cards equal to the number of mox cards on your side of the board. Should have played some more mox. Never mind. Uh, we'll then... Not play another mox yet. We'll put you out there so we can do as much damage to him before he gets all the way across as possible. Because we might decide that a different mox is in order. There's no mox. He's going to die. Should have played another mox. Yep, he therefore dies. That's a crying shame. And we don't have blue mox for him. That's a shame too. I think in that case we'll just stick the orange one down. <laughs> and go for it. At least we're not taking damage here. Salmon emerges from the deep. Covered in flavour text. No, 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 no. Salmon moves to a new space. Oh, another mox. Okay, well, mox, mox for mox. Up comes the salmon. Here comes another one. Uh-oh. Come on, give me a good card. Right, this is something good. So we're going to put... What are we going to do? I think we'll put that one there. We'll put you there. Yeah, so you're not dead yet. Salmon has moved to a new space, though. And so will this one. Okay, and we're, we're out this turn, I believe. But we can do one damage to them first. Um, it's a shame, isn't it? I keep having the sun going in and out. I hope that's not distracting. Let me turn my lights up ever so slightly more. The white balance is going crazy! Aren't you white balance? Bless your heart. So... We're gonna... Kinda don't want to put my mocks down in case it just gets... 
owned by the salmon. Well, we don't need to yet, do we? Okay, safe. Salmon moves to a new space. We're going to have to build a better deck to deal with this. And not play like an idiot. Uh, you're going to fly over this mox so it's safe there. I mean, nothing's really safe here for very long, is it? Maybe I should have put him there, actually. Oh well. He's a going there. Do one damage. You can tank two damage from the salmon, actually. Oof. Youchy. Okay. Salmon's moved to a new space. New card. Can't play it. Uh, nope. And this is the turn we die, I think. Yep, one, two, three. Bad luck, me. One, two, three. Thankful fish, but no pass until beat. Okay, so we can press tab and sort our card out. What happens if I click autocomplete? Oh, wow. Is that totally random? Blue mage, sapphire marks. Junior sage, emerald marks. Maybe that was my trouble. I had too many different ones. Maybe I just need to focus on blues and greens or just, yeah, like avoid one of them. Practice wizard you seem desperate to want for me to have down there, despite having no orange mocks. Interesting. I think I'll take that out. Thick droid makes sense. Mantis god is amazing. Do you know what? I, I'm gonna I'm gonna build my own deck here. So I like the draw that you provide. Let's do that, and we'll also get the blue mocks. Hang on, where's my blue mocks? Is that it? Yeah, sapphire mocks. It's just that it looked like a person. We'll get three of those, and two of him. Then I think we'll choose one more Mox. He might be good. Let's get him out. Um, one three is better than one two, but he doesn't require there to be Mox down. So I'm going to take three of those, two of those. Right, we're just over half built. This is good. Uh, let's take a thick droid to use the five batteries, or maybe we take the automaton to use three batteries. That might be better. Uh, you require bones. We are going to have bones for sure. So we'll take one of you, and then beasts are going to finish off my deck. Um, a squirrel ball is fun, but I don't... Ah, oh, squirrels are sacrifices, aren't they? Uh... What can we sacrifice? Mox can't be sacrificed. Ah, that's where things like the practice wizard come in. They are sacrificable. I'll... Mm. Oh, but they're orange. That's the trouble. Damn it. <clears throat> Do you know what? Those can be sacrificed, can't they? One, two. Three. Just to get the ball rolling. And then we've got four cards left. Uh, it's unlikely we're going to get anything... Right, we'll take a Mole Man. That's too good. We'll take the Mantis God. And think about it. What are we doing? We want big damage. Because we can't touch his fish, basically, can we? He can get in the way. Do they fly? They don't fly, but he'll still get in the way. So he'll tank some Salmons. We can't hit the Salmons, I don't think, because we've got nothing here that will let us. So we just need to do lots of damage to him to finish it off, which would suggest Urayuli, but I don't think we've quite got the stuff for that. Um, you know, the squirrel ball is quite fun. Let's take that, and then let's take one more thing that requires a sacrifice. Uh, maybe, maybe the elk. He's got good damage. Okay. Let's try that. Oh, we're properly, properly deck building now. No pass until beat. Let's try beating you, shall we? Have some tea. It's winner's tea, this. Okay. We're already on one battery. Maybe it's not every time we get hit. Maybe it's just one per turn. It's like um, mana in Hearthstone. Okay. You're going to start at that end. So we want... To put down... Hmm. That one can go. 
We're going to get you down there, draw two new cards, because we've got two mocks on the, on the field. That's good. We cannot be sacrificing those. We can sacrifice the wizard, which... Or the mage, which we will do. Um, but you can go down first. Since once your gem is destroyed, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we don't need to sacrifice him yet. Let's just leave him there for now, just in case something changes. I don't see anything else we need to do, apart from maybe getting him out. He could be doing a lot of damage for us in the meantime, couldn't he, if I sacrifice both of them. No, no, no. We'll leave it. Okay, we've got a bone. Salmon moves to a new space, and we get a new energy. Fantastic. Okay. This is where you're going to do one damage to him and then take the hit, which is great. Mole Man should get down here now. Destroy that. And get Mole Man in play... What? There? I don't think it really matters. Um, that's going to go, but that's okay. We've got another one to replace it. We don't need to put it down yet. Two damage to you. Thank you very much. Salmon emerges from the deep. Smacks us across the face like a Monty Python sketch. And next up. Ah! Okay. This is another good time to use. Yeah. We'll use that. Put that down. Get two more cards. This card draw is insane. I love it. We'll be able to get Automaton down soon. Um, I'm half tempted, you know, to just sacrifice both of them. To get him down. We've got three bones. We can get that down next turn. Yeah, this is much better. Salmon emerges from the deep. No worries at all. You move to a new space. And here we go. Uh, four bones. Means we can put that down there and they can do one damage, but... Ooh, what do I put where? We're three off lethal. So putting that down is not going to kill it this turn. Actually, yes it might. Because if we kill that and that... Yeah. Kill, kill. We can't sacrifice that. That's fine. Sacrifice that. Put that down there. Then we get you down. Do three damage. And it's lethal. We'll put you down as well for the, for the hell of it. And... Oh no, no. We can't get you down. Okay. Bosh, excess damage. Equals a foil. Okay. I thought foils were like uh, rare cards or something. You beat, you pass. We get ourselves a beastly card pack or two. Grizzly bear, another mantis god, bullfrog, more practice wizards, and another thick droid. They've been added to my collection. Do you want to shift? Me, work, continue. Find fish for leshy. All right, I can pass, though. Grand. Okay. What is this game? Can I talk to the flower and pretend it's Undertale? Uh, let's walk directly into the bear trap. Oh, I could push the bear trap. Should we do that and catch the rabbit? I'd imagine we'll come across the uh, trader soon, and he'll be very interested to see what I've caught for him. Yeah, you can go up there, that's fine. I'm going to put it in the way where you were originally patrolling. Because at some point you are going to go between those two. Sorry, rabbit. Well, while you're buggering about, I'm going to check this chest. Patches of dried blood crackled as you pried the chest open. But two packs were inside. A beastly card pack gives us... Salmon, mole man, elk, pharaoh's pets, and some more practice wizards. Six bones. Pharaoh's pets is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Also, when Pharaoh's pets is sacrificed, it does not perish. So it's an infinite goat. An infinite blood goat, right? Black goat. Except it costs a bit more to play. That's cool. Another Urayuli, blah blah blah, another one of those. And an ex Insector drone will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature opposing it. Right, yeah. So it's a 3-1-1 one, one with flying. Fine. Chuck him in my collection. Do you mind running across this trap? You were doing an amazing job of taking that path before. I suppose we've actually got time, haven't we? To get it into the right place. So it's, gonna, when, he, it's when he's going to do one of these long ones. Here we go! Here we go! Oh no. <laughs> do you want to come over this way? 
Ah, what if? What if? What if we start over here? Oh, you absolute little terror. So he seems to go wherever I'm not. So, with that in mind, let's go chase him down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah! Your leg is caught in a bear trap. Gnawing off your leg is a little rabbit. Quiet, quiet. Ah, oh, I feel bad about that. There's a thing in the woods. Can't take pictures of that. Can't do anything with that now. Okay, well, we've got a picture for the trapper, because that seems to follow the pattern of things we've been doing so far. Now we've just got to find the trapper. Is he in here? Ooh. Yes, he is in here. Hang on, what's this? Oh, we can only do the one. Fair enough. Can't see that. Can't see that. Fine. We know this is the trader. Maybe he'll like the pelt picture. You have brought a pelt, I am pleased. Lovely. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. Ooh. Oh, his head goes over as well. That's so cool. I smell the hare's blood on you. Oh, we didn't set up a, a deck to deal with this, but we know this is a pretty decent deck. So, you have a burrowing trap. Can't be sacrificed when an empty space would be struck. Burrowing trap will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Also, when it perishes, the opposing creature perishes as well, and a pelt is created. Hmm. Finish that mug of deliciousness. So... Five health is a lot, and he's going to tank everything unless I'm flying. We can get him down quite quickly with the Mantis God, and if we time it right, he'll die, and the thing opposite won't perish, because hopefully it'll be during one of his diagonal strikes. So we'll definitely try and get him down. This, and we've got a Bullfrog there as well. Uh, which, just to remind me... Airborne. Oh, no, 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 it's not Airborne, but it blocks Airborne. That's okay. So I think we get that down somewhere that doesn't matter. And if we put that there, he'll hit me first, so that means he'll beat my guy. But at least we'll slowly take him down. And in fact, we can do one damage to the frog now. Next turn, we sacrifice him for the Mantis God. Right? No reason not to do that. You cannot play because we don't have blue. Let's go. <clears throat> Lovely, we knew that was going to happen. You're going to sacrifice you and play it there. Yes, that's what we're going to do. And then we're in place for that next turn as well. I kind of want to put this guy down, which we can do. So we'll get that down. He goes there, kills him. He'll kill that next turn, but that's okay. He'll not take any damage. And then we'll go one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. This is really good. Good play. You pop out to block. One. And again, two. We kill that. That's all good. We don't mind that. So you're going to go kill, kill, sorry, kill, hit, uh, hit Mole Man there, who's on one health. Then the next time you attack, you're going to kill him there, and he'll sacrifice there. Or rather, he'll kill the card opposite, and we do two more hits. I think we, we've got this. He pops out to block. One more time. Oh! Didn't see that happening. Never mind. The scales are even. Okay, so we can't play either of the... Well, we could play the Mole Man, but I don't think we want to, because this is more powerful at the moment. Because we're doing two damage, and he's doing one damage each turn. That's a concern, though. Uh, we'll place you down there. So you can do damage to that. You're still going to get us two in the bank and kill the... Yeah, you'll still kill the... Other guy, won't you? Good. Bye-bye, Mantis God. You were incredible, and I love you so much. You're going to do one damage this turn and win us it. The Trapper is beaten! That was fun. I enjoyed that. The trap has shut, yet the prey escapes. And the Trapper waits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshy awaits. And we got a beastly card pack. I fear Leshy's going to be a lot harder. Wow, the Hrockle. Waterborne. Also, when it's played, it provides an energy cell to its owner. Okay, so we get an extra energy. That's nice. We know those two. What are you? Skelemagus. 
after attacking Skelamagus perishes. Oh right, so he's a he's a one-time attack. Uh, if if I have no mox cards, he also perishes. And it costs two bones for a four. That's a rush card. I like it. Gormage. Pay two bones to increase the power and health of Gormage by one. And it costs a green. Oh, what an interesting bunch of cards. You wish to trade? I do have one foil. I could get a solitary squirrel. Don't think we're doing that. I think we're going to go... We'll, we'll try out our current deck on him, because it's not that bad. You had bested the Unhinged Prospector, the Gormless Angler, and the Enigmatic Traveller. Trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, Scribe of Beasts. Steal yourself, for my beasts will show you no mercy, only fangs. Ah, oh, there's a little mouse popped up beside him. Do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. Huh? And my beasts are famished. Okay, first of all, what does that mean? Second of all, what's going to happen here? Or is that just... Yeah, no, there's just gaps in the table. That hopefully is fine. Right. First off, we're going to put probably just one of those down for now. Now, if we put the other one there, he could tank the hit. I think we're going to go there. Take out the Coyote. We can take one, one damage, that's fine. We've got to do this twice, so maybe putting that down isn't the worst idea. Yeah, let's just, let's just have an extra hit. Okay, I'll need a photo of that one's cost. <gasps> it costs nothing. Excellent. Oh, are we going to create an amazing card here? Hmm. If you go there, you'll do one damage to him and then just die anyway. I sort of don't think that's worth it. Maybe we just go there and start pumping the damage into him. Because the mole's going to jump up at some point anyway, and we just take the damage from the uh, stoat. I just pointed at it my actual finger. Yep, that's what we're doing. He's quite good to get. Hang on, guys. There's noise happening. Hold your horses, guys. It was just a Tesco delivery van. I could just hear lots of crashing and bashing, and I thought one of the cats had got stuck somewhere. We're all fine. So, we were thinking about the Mole Man, but all he's going to do is just take hits from him. It's not really going to do that much for us. I think we stick with where we are. One, two. Get some damage in. Yep. Ooh, three. That would be nice to put down. So we can we can take one health off him and then soak a hit as well. Mole digs down and pops out to block. My junior sage. Oh, before that one dies, I need to capture its stats. Uh, one zero, or one one. I think it might have been. That's crap. Uh, so we want the next thing that dies to have a sigil. So him. I guess. To create the most amazing death card. What's happening here? We're, we're killing the mole. And not much else, really. Good, good. He's going to kill him. That sigil is crap. Finally, the sigils. Oh, no. That will do. The deaths of your creatures will form a beautiful mosaic. I don't want that card that he's just made. It's terrible. A free 1-1 one, one that dies when there's nothing on the board. I mean, that's literally this. Uh, anyway. We're going to do one damage and take two damage. We get you down and kill off his stoat. Bosh. Okay, starting to tip those scales again. We take one damage... And then we give one damage. We take one damage, we give one damage. I think we just keep doing that until it... Ah. We'll have to kill the mole first. Ah, bones. Okay, the next time something dies... We'll be able to use that. And by something, of course, I mean one of my cards. Um, hmm. Okay, here's my play. This guy... Sacrifices him, because I'm a... Yeah. What I want to do is get a blue one of these down so we can get him out. 
Once we do that, we could either do it by killing that and then putting the blue one down, but I think if we put the mole man down, that would be really useful. He can go there. And then, oh no, you can go there, soaking that hit. And then these guys can come out, because we'll have a fourth bone, into that place, start pumping it into that mole. Or maybe he comes out and said, I, I don't know. So what are we going to do? We're going to sacrifice you, place you there. Four bones, or a blue instead of that, and then put him down. No. Yes. That seems pretty decent. Because they're going to take longer, and they're not going to die anytime soon. So yeah, let's let's do that. We'll destroy that, put that wherever because it doesn't matter, and then put him down. He'll keep on hitting the mole, but that's okay. Mole digs down. Cool, he's nearly dead. You take a hit. That's good. Uh, you'll be ready for him soon. Yeah. We'll just keep going as we are. Mole digs down. Shame he blocked my two, but never mind. Oh, Coyote was dealt overkill damage. Yes! Overkill damage works in this as well. Okay, we're starting to get somewhere. Now. I think we just carry on. We're doing three damage per turn now. This is going to tip the scales. Yep, keep getting cards. That's all good. Lovely. Whew. You won't be needing those. I have something better. Oh, you prick. You must like them. Though the stitch work is my own, they are your cards. Oh, he stitched... They are all the card that he took a photo of. Okay, now we put them to the test. My beasts enjoy a varied diet. Oh, no. Those are terrible. Although they're not that bad, actually, are they? Because they can just go anywhere. A free 1-1. One, one. As long as you've got one of these out, that's fine. Okay, what do we got here? That's a shame. That's also a massive shame. Uh, can we destroy his cards? No. It's possibly expecting a bit much there. This music is great. The music in this version of the game and also in the other version of the game is superb. Uh, squirrel Ball. Now, I think we just put that down and slowly work at this guy. Cool, that's fine. Ooh, sacrificing Mole Man could be good here. If we sacrifice him and him, we get to put him down there. He'll hit the bear and move across. Take a hit from the bear. Uh, the, the Yeah, so that's weakening the bear. I think we do that. Destroy those guys. Go there. You hit the bear for two. He's on three health, that's good. He moves to there. Oh, we're going to take four next turn, though. Now. Huh. Maybe I should have put him there. <laughs> Whoops. I wanted to keep on just putting these guys down in front of him. Well, it won't kill us, anyway. Um, and in the meantime, let's just start chucking these guys on the board. Oh! Now he takes the hit for us. That's good, perhaps. You can take that hit. Draw me two more cards. Thank you very much. One more card, of course. Yep. Um, kind of want to kill you, so let's get you down. You're going to kill him. You're going to kill him. You're going to take a hit from him. Right, we're getting somewhere. Oh, another bear. Are you kidding? Where are my good cards? <laughs> so that's a green gem. I suppose we just put that down. Deal a damage to him. Keep it rolling. I hate that. You're out of cards. Starvation sets in. If a creature would attack starvation, it does not. Oh, right, so I'm getting hungry and I can't attack. Interesting. Uh, there's not a huge amount to say about this. I think we'll just put that... We need to sacrifice something. Do I want to sacrifice him? He's going to attack. Uh, okay, we'll just put everything we've got down. Yeah, we've lost this one. We went far off, though, look. Look at that. 
Two from, two from, two from the end. Another starvation. Yeah, finish him. Can't believe how close we got. If we just get a decent lineup now, when he takes pictures of our cards, we're gonna be in. How utterly disappointing, I was hoping for a greater challenge. It was all over so quickly. Oh, if I could extend the struggle, for the kill is only as satisfying as the struggle that precedes it. Right, I'm just gonna turn away from you for a moment, sir. And we're gonna we're gonna rebuild our deck. And we're gonna include. Oh, what are we gonna include? There was an amazing card. I like him. That's gonna be really useful. I think we're gonna take him at a cost of two bones. Easy, easy money. That's nice if we can hmm, get bones easily. I think we need another one of those for four bones because we're going to end up with six bones at some point. So that's our bones done. We get energy all the time. So having one of those and one of those, possibly even just another one of those, they were really, they would be really useful. You, I can pay two bones to increase your power and strength. Okay, let's work out what we want from here. Drawing too many hurt us in the long run, so I don't think we're going to do that. We'll get the two one because I think we're all about rushing this. We'll get three of those, and you. Maybe we'll get one wizard. Uh, one blue mage. That's such a cool noise. Um, and maybe we have another use for bones. We'll take you and draw two greens there. with maybe a Junior Sage to chuck on just for the hell of it. Then, to finish off, we will get our Mantis God twice. Thank you very much. We'll get an Insta-Kill, because he's really useful, although two sacrifices is going to be hard. Um, do we need another sacrifice card? Yeah, he'll do. Maybe we'll just take another one of those. And finally, we'll end up with... You're quite good. Waterborne and extra battery. To get more of you guys out. We've only got three robots, so maybe we won't choose you. The squirrel ball didn't really do us any favours because I never played it, so that's on me. I don't know what we take as our last our last one. Maybe just a, a bullfrog. He gets in the way of stuff. No, the mole man was excellent. He really helped us there. Let's try that. Try that deck. Uh, get off the start screen. Let's go one more. Will I fight harder this time? I'll fight differenter this time. You crave a true challenge. And we're going to try and remember, the first thing you kill is its cost. The second thing you kill is its... Yeah, that's how we defeat him. The second thing you take is its attack power and health. And then the third thing you kill is its sigils. So that's how we win. So we want the sigil to be that. So we want you to die third. We want the cost to be one of these. So, hello. Uh, we'll kill you. You can kill that to take that cost. Beautiful. And then we won't put anything else down. That'll be it for now. This is a really interesting game. The cost of nothing. Wonderful. Ooh, that could be helpful. Uh, so I now want the health and damage of something. Hmm. I think we're going to put that down because we need to get some more cards out yep ah oh, but we don't have another bone damn that would be so good okay one damage a piece now you are not what we want i think we're just going to keep doing the we'll take some hits from the stoke for a while Okay, we can have a 1-1 one, one with that as all of our cards for free. I think that's worth doing. So we'll sacrifice you and possibly I should have... Oh, no, no. We'll sacrifice you and break. Ah, I want to put him there. Damn it. Yeah, do you know what? We're going to put you there. Then we're going to sacrifice that and put it there. 
Now we've got this as well, is interesting. Put him out. That's fine. Okay, Mole digs down, pops up to block. No worries, he does it twice, and then we get a hit. Nearly done it. Next, stats. Oh, we get the 4-1. Brilliant. I forgot he perishes. That's even better than I could possibly have hoped for. We have Trifurcated Strike with a 4-1, and it costs nothing. That's going to give me everything we need to immediately defeat this deck. We've got a, this guy. is really good. I think we'll put him there. Destroy you. You do not... Yeah, we don't have a green gem. Doesn't matter. Thank you, thick droid. Right, go on. Give me all my cards, please. No? Okay. Hmm. Is it only when I beat this one? Damn. Okay. So we'll sacrifice that and put him there. So he can take all the hits. Keep us going until we get what we need to put this one down. Great. You just played a card with an activated ability. Alas, I shall explain to you its workings. Why alas? Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. But it will only work if you can pay the cost. That's fine, I can. Gormage grows stronger and stronger again. Can't do it again, though. That's fine. 2-4. Let's get some damage in. Uh, we have reached the next level, ladies and gentlemen. We'll put that down in order to kill that. No, we won't, because it dies immediately. Bad choice. But we tip the scales. Our hand is filled now with the best cards ever. And Storpy wins the whole game. And we are amazing and really satisfied with our creations. Yes, really pleased with myself there. So, you take four damage. You take four damage. Uh, I mean, yeah, we'll keep the other two in hand. <laughs> we still did it! Oh, that is stunning. I am so happy about that. We gained two foils. Should have done some more overkill, really. The Great Scribe was incredibly bested. Far away, a light enveloped a long-forgotten monument. wonder if it's the tower where... Oh, ah, it's that. So I've bested Leshy. And how cool was that? Avenging Druid, achievement unlocked. You had triumphed, narrowly avoiding Tooth and Claw. The Scribe of Beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. You received a beastly card pack. Okay, we got more crap that we can fill our deck with. Ooh, a bone hound. Seven, excuse me, seven bones, two, three. They're just like a bloodhound. A draugr can't be sacrificed, but when he perishes, the creature inside is released in its place. One bone... And who knows what the Draugr is like. We'll take him. And we get another deck! Oh! A cat is good, another mole man, a raven, thick droid, and another bone hound. Good stuff. Oh! Battery low, 400 minutes. The Scribe of Beasts was defeated. That was weird. Yeah. Stop. What is that? It's the Lucky Carder's camcorder. Uh-oh. Oh my god, this is one of the other scribes! I had to see your face after you lost. No, I won't do that voice. You're just so bad! It's no wonder we're back here again. And we would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. And buried. There's the stoat's face, look! Take a long look at this face, because you'll never see it again. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast! It's the stoat! I freed the stoat from Leshy's clutches! Oh... I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly a creature as a stoat. Ah, See, he just wanted he just wanted to be a nice guy all along. He just wanted to be a fish. He wanted to be a beast, rather. So now we should be able to get across there, yeah. Well, here are the four scribes, right? Um, I'm just going to go up here. And have a look at this. Can't interact. Okay. Well, one down. Three to go. Shall I carry on? 
I think I'll carry on. I'll do one more. One more area, hopefully. Uh, let's do the bone area. Because we've got the bone area, the robot area, and the... No, 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 area. Oh, that's, that's Wizard Tower. Okay. But we'll do him last, certainly. Let's go. Oh, spooky. You're here. Marvellous. I am Grimora, scribe of... I missed that because I pressed space by accident. Until quite recently, I was disgraced, though I was returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. Which tombs hold the, are the resting place of your lovely ghouls? Right. First off, we're checking out this. And a piece of an epitaph, it reads, do n oh, does not hold a grudge. <laughs> okay. This way takes us to a tiny crypt, which we'll come back to in a minute. That looks like the trader. Skull does nothing. Let's go to the trader. <clears throat> you wish to trade? Yeah, I don't. Uh, not yet, anyway. After attacking, the skeleton perishes. And will give a bone. And cost no bones. So that's quite good. What are you digging down? At the end of the owner's turn, Grave Digger will generate one bone. Zombie. Bone Heap. Pay two bones to increase the power and health of Bone Heap by one. Okay, so he's like... Uh, Gourmois. Hello. Brr, did someone leave the AC on? Oh my god, it's, uh, Sans. He even talks like him. Oh, come on, dude, it's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. Uh-oh. Let's see if my amazing deck can stack up. Ooh, spooky. What have we got there? He's got a Banshee, which is a 1-1 one, one flying. That's easy enough. You've got a Draugr, so we don't want to kill that. We just want him to take up space on the board. <clears throat> we don't have two bones yet, but we will have. Tell you what we'll do. That's going to go there. You're going to go... There. <laughs> Excuse me. Then I'll get a bone from that dying. We'll save this guy to kill her next turn. Oh, she attacks over. That was a stupid place to put that. Okay. Uh, I think we kill that. We put that down here. Then that goes here. And you go there. You kill him, that's fine. Bye-bye, wizard. Yep, mage pupil, rather. We've got three energy now, so we could put that down. Uh, we've also got... Yeah, we can rush him now, can't we? <laughs> Excuse me, here we go. Oh, there were no bloody... Wait, what? Why did he die immediately? Oh, I can concede. Don't think I will. Uh, how do I see my deck? Huh. Why did he just immediately die? Can I not play bones against... Bones would kind of make sense a little bit, but that's a bit of a shame. You're going to perish anyway. No, no, no. We'll, we'll put you there. We want a constant source of damage. One to me. No worries. Collapses into a pile of bones. Revenant. After attacking, the Revenant perishes. So three damage to the face. You're there, which is fine. We can go over you. We've got another one of those. Okay. You're dead anyway. Oh no. We don't want to take that much damage, so... We'll tank it. You're dead. Ah! We need the green one. That's fine. We'll just... Hit you, and we're done. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house. Ah! We get the bone deck. Here we go. Bone booster. Mummy Lord is a 3-3 three, three that costs 8 bones. Necromancer costs 3 bones. When another creature you own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. Oh, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. So that's going to be... That's going to be really good for things that have a when played 
function, like my mage that draws cards for me. Banshee, we know about, and we know about these guys. Okay. Cards were added. You did beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's Casey. Ah, Casey Hobbs, which was one of the cards that I had to play against. I'm from the tombstone on the left. You found a piece of epitaph. It reads Casey Hobbs, 1970 to winter 1992. You're letting me pass. That's nice. Casey, Casey Hobbs is the name. Tombstone on the left. Burr. Let's check this out. Pulled up another epitaph piece. The defibrillator failed. <laughs> you found a card in the well. The ink is running from the moisture. <gasps> Drowned soul. Waterborne also. So Waterborne, 1-1, one, one, with death touch. Costs four bones. Also, when it... Yeah, that's mental. I want to put that in my deck immediately. Okay. The well is dry. Another piece of epitaph. Eaten by a hungry dog. Okay. Um... You sifted through the bones and found a card pack inside. Another... I keep on skipping through it. I can't remember what this tribe is called. Ghost ship. Okay. <sighs> Waterborne. Cost four bones. At the end of the owner's turn, ghost ship will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil and drop a skeleton in its old space. Which is like a what? Was that the one one instantly dies one? That's quite good. And it's waterborne, so you're just filling it up. God, the death pack seems really good. Pay two bones to increase... The power and health of Bone Heat by one. That's easy enough to know. Another ghost ship. Green Mage. The power of Green Mage is equal to the number of green gems that the owner has on their side of the table. That could be good. And if Mage Knight's owner controls... No, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. I need to check something. I need to check. Uh, where was he? There. After attacking, Skelemagus perishes. Also, if I control no Mox cards, he perishes. Oh, right, so he is a Mox one. Because he's a Skelly Magus. Okay. So the game isn't bugged. Not that I expected it should be. Let's talk to you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please, let us get it over with. All right. Bonehound incoming. Don't love the bone hound, has to be said. Let's get you down. And you. No need to get anything else on the field as yet. Two damage sucks, but you're gonna... Ah, you go where a card is placed in an empty space, don't you? So, we don't have any bones yet, or thingy, so I think we just have to suck this one up. We could put that down in order to tank a hit. You're going to kill him anyway. And then die. Do we want to waste a blue on that? Yeah, I think we do, because then we've got enough for him. Yeah, two bones, there you go. And we've got three of those. So I think what we're going to do... Huh. We could make her a 1-2. Can we keep on increasing that as we get more bones? I'm assuming we can. Uh, but the other play is to do four damage there by playing that, then put that there so that he gets in the way. And then we do five damage and we win. You first. He leaps over. You next. He leaps over. We could even put that down, but he's airborne, so I think that's five damage. Sweet! Skelemagus showing his power. It is over. You have chewed me out. Now, please look away. Turn your eyes to this card pack instead. You received a deathly card pack, is what it's called. With a very gothic cover. Ghost ship. Ghost ship. Gamblobot. Three batteries. Pay one energy to set the power of Gamblobot randomly between one and six. I have no... Oh, the power! Oh, a random cut. That I like. Muscle Mage. At the end of the owner's turn, Muscle Mage will move in the direction inscribed and everyone else will be pushed that way as well. Don't love Muscle Mage. So who are you? You're Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging up my bones. You found a piece of epitaph. 
Sawyer Patel, 1702 to fall 1778. I mean, I, I guess. Do not sniff or snarl. Let's go down here. Pick up another piece of epitaph. It reads, brought down by scurvy. Oh. A gust of foul-smelling air billows from the casket. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You have no offering. Hmm. We need an offering, do we? Ah, we don't know who died from what yet, though, do we? Oh! Do not bark or beg, the millstone marks my grave. Eaten by a hungry dog, do not bark or beg. So that's a clue for that. You were talking about something about water? Brr, tombstone on the left. You're very cold. So you died in the cold. Casey Hobbs, winter 1992. Great. Oh my god, we need to put an epitaph on. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um, I don't think you got brought down by scurvy, though. Uh, we need to put Sawyer Patel there, because you're the middle one. And then scurvy must have been... Oh, does not hold a grudge, and the defibrillator failed. Eaten by a hungry dog. Please do not bark or beg. The middle stone marks my grave. Do not bark or beg. Does not hold a grudge sounds quite good, but we don't really know yet. You... I don't think we're brought down by scurvy. Uh, you died somehow very cold, so you were brought down by scurvy is my guess. And the last one, defibrillator failed, does not hold a grudge. Okay. Let's talk to you. I'm enjoying this immensely, by the way. Hark, a living slice of lemon approaches. Bright and triggers a lime. Lemons and limes, that's to do with scurvy, isn't it? You think you will just squeeze a defeat out of me? Ooh. Oh, it's a ghost ship guy. Uh-oh. Right. Ghost ship. We know what happens with that. And there's the skeleton to prove it. So. I think... We put that down. And we put her down there. Because he's going to drop a... Ah, crap. He's going to drop a skeleton. Oh, no, that's fine. She can... We can start losing other things and she'll get more and more powerful. Uh, that won't go anywhere. Yep. And those we can't play either, so we just wait. No worries. You move, drop a skeleton. Lovely, which doesn't attack this turn. Good to know. Uh, you will perish as soon as I place you, so we will not place you. Ghost ship emerges from the deep. I could have placed him and then we could have got some bones. It's okay though. We'll do it this turn. A little droid would be really useful. Uh, yeah. So let's play you there. You'll immediately perish. That's fine. We get a bone. Spend two. Gormage grows stronger. We start doing damage. Uh, I think we'll put that there to kill you. And then we'll just wait. Emerges from the deep. Not a worry. Okay. So the ghost ship and the skeletons are only going to be combined to there for a little bit because of this skeleton now. Um, we'll put you there again. That's fine. No worries. He dies. We get another bone. Uh, it's kind of... It's not quite what I meant to do, but that's okay. Ghost ship emerges. Has to stay there. We've got two more bones, that's nice. Um, do we want him? No, we don't. I think we just pay two bones and get on with it. Oh god. It's, it's a proper race against time, this. Come on, I need a good card. That'll do. Okay, let's think. That's going to go there. So we can get you down there. We'll do four damage and we'll beat, beat them. Whew. Lovely little puzzle. Aye, ye beat the pulp out of me. Firstly, take ye this. 
So he's also a pirate or a, sh a shipsman. Therefore, scurvy is a thing to think about. Ghost ship, necromancer, bonehound, gourmage, and elk. Sure. And because you bested me, with ye I'll share me secret. My name's Royal. Eyes the far right tomb. Here's the headpiece. Okay, Royal Dominguez, 1589, Spring 1632. Right, so. We've got you brought down by scurvy. Absolutely believe that. I don't think there were defibrillators in the 1500s. Does not hold a grudge? Don't know. Eaten by a hungry dog. Might need a defibrillator. We don't know how you died. So I think the defibrillator is you, but let's go up here and find out how you died. Let's go. You found a card pack amongst the jibblings and scantlings. Another deathly card pack. Ghost ship. Dead hand. It's very evil dead. When it's played, discard your hand, then draw a new hand of four cards. That is amazing with a hand of zero. Frank and Stein. Two, two, five bones. Maybe some other special power. And a steam bot. Haha. <laughs> two, two for six energy. Okay. Add them to my collection, please. What's in here? Another piece of epitaph hit by a piece of falling ice. Well, if you recall, she has ice in her head. So there you go. Now we just need the final piece of uh, epitaph. There it is. There was no cure. For being bitten by a dog, I assume? No, for the scurvy, perhaps. Oh! Oh my god. Oh, that's very cool. I can change what I look like. Oh wow, don't like that. Do you know what would we'll be Mr. Ben? That sounds fun. I wonder if you accept any kind of sacrifice now. You have no offering. So I need an offering for you. Hmm. Not sure where I'm going to find an offering, but that's okay. So, hit by a piece of falling ice. I think the defibrillator must have failed, because that's what you would do. She maybe had a heart attack. Eaten by a hungry dog does not hold a grudge. And finally, if you're brought down by scurvy, you'd have thought back then there was no cure. A bloody boom. We're through. Marvellous. I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. I'm going to give my current deck a go because it seems to be a winner, even though there was a card I said I needed to put in. Never mind. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever, locked down at the mercy of a challenger's wits, until one day discovered. But no, you prevailed. And now it's time to battle. I love battling. My minions never truly die, you know. Yep. Let's see how you fare. Let's see how you fare. Okay. Maybe we get her down and start building her up. No, yes. You leap over. Not a worry. You go down. And we put that there. Easy as that. There's one. There's another one. Why don't you eat it? Should have seen what that was. Sarcophagus will grow into a more powerful form. So it's 0-2. I think we start doing damage to it now. Ah, this isn't going well. Banshee is airborne. We can't play either of those. Nope. Nope. Okay. A higher form. A 3-2. Bye-bye, Gourmand. Hmm. Somehow I don't think this is going to go very well. Let's sacrifice you just to kill the Mummy Lord. Next turn with the Thick Droid, I should have said. Uh, we'll get that down there. Hmm. Should have played that second. No, I shouldn't, because he was still going to get in the way of this. I think we'll put this down here and kill the dog with one overkill for the mummy. Uh, the, the, the banshee. Perfect. Marvellous. An opportunity to use my quill. R.I.P. Bonehound. Turn one to turn five. Death by Skelemagus. This one will be back. Okay. Banshee was dealt overkill damage, no worries. No matter, death is never final. RIP Mummy Lord, turn two to turn five, killed by Thick Droid. That one will be back in no time. 
Skill and Mages collapses, no worries. We're on death's door here. We can't play anything. So we'll do our one damage, courtesy of Thick Droid. Here comes another sarcophagus, which worries me. We might kill it before it grows, though. Um, I kind of want to get him down. But I don't know if there's much I can do to do that. Maybe we put that out. Thus getting ourselves some bones and not getting destroyed in the process. Okay, this guy. I think maybe we get you down. You leap over to block. I'd like to keep you on the board, but I think maybe we sacrifice you so you can take some hits from Mole Man. At least that's three I don't need to worry about. Ah! He transcends. Damn it. Okay. Ooh, hello. Um, I think we've got to put that there, haven't we? But it'll just die next turn. Oh, and it needs a sacrifice anyway, so... I think we've lost this. <laughs> Why don't we do that? At least we get a little bit of damage out of it. We don't die immediately. We've got this guy who can go... There. Let's kill the sarcophagus. Yeah. Okay. What a rush. You may try again, challenger, but don't expect any less of a fight. Right. Destroy that deck. We need to come up with something amazing. So, what is her special power all about? Her bloody quill. She was writing down, like her tombstones, she was writing down who they were, when they died, and who killed them. And was saying, oh yeah, they'll be back. So maybe they come back, but stronger? <clears throat> I don't know. Um, do you know, let's start getting, getting some squirrels going. So if we get a little squirrel, no, I don't like the squirrel ball. I just need some bloody squirrels. Uh, who did we say we really liked the look of? I think it was one of the de deadly cards, deathly cards. Oh, it was the hand. Yeah, you're really good, but you require five bones. Thirteen bones for the Headless Horseman. Insane. He's airborne and he moves in the direction inscribed in the sigil. When another creature you own dies, it is returned to life and dies again immediately. Okay. Maybe that's good with the Draugr. Ooh. God, there's a lot here. Do you know what? Should we auto-complete and see what happens? I'm half tempted. Ah, no, it was this. It was the Gamblo bot. We need two of, well, one of him. Perfect. Uh, we do build these up quite quickly, so I think what we're going to do is get the Insector Drone as well. The Thick Droid wasn't great, so I think we'll take a Steam Bot as well, and then maybe an Automaton. There we go. That's all of our energy ones done. Let's go. Who else did something with energy? That was you. Waterborne and a Sacrifice. Sorry, Waterborne and an Energy Giver. There's another waterborne one that did something incredible. That was the salmon. He was pretty good. A rabbit is zero power, one health when I play that. Uh, okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's start trying to work through some of this. <laughs> uh... I think we've got to take a Draugr, because that's free something, isn't it? The bone heap gets better the more bones you feed it. So we don't want that if we're going for a deck that's full of bones. The Drowned Soul! That was amazing. Instant kill and waterborne. Perfect. Uh, lovely. We'll take that. And then we'll get maybe one of those that can give us bones back and act as a bit of a, you know, stand-in. Let's get two of those. There you go. I think that's all the bones I'm going to take for now. Oh, but the ghost ship's good for getting bones as well. Do you know, we're going to go with that. Let's see how well we do with all that, and then we need some stuff that can be turned into bones, don't we? So, 
I, I missed my draw this turn, so we're going to get three blues and two of him. We're also going to get uh, probably two of... Yeah, let's go with... Uh, no, not maybe not four. That's silly. We'll go with three emeralds and two guys that can use emeralds. That's not great. Maybe we'll just go for him. Because we just need stuff that can die and provide us bones, right? I suppose he's better. And he can go down if green's down. And green should be down because we've got loads of greens. Uh, yeah, there you go. It's done. I don't know how that's going to go, but let's, let's give it a go and see. Another attempt? Very well. I'm still buzzing from the last one. On guard. This might be the last attempt I do uh, on this fight today. Or for this episode. Minions prepare for death, but then life again. Yeah, you're going to bring them back. And are they going to be different? We'll see. Okay, I see a play already. Kind of. That. Then that. Then destroy that and place that there. Provides an energy cell. Brilliant. It's just when played though, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe this isn't that great. Um, and then, yeah, you can, you can hit me. That's fine. Is that fine? Why have I done this? <laughs> you can't hit me because I'm waterborne, so I'm gonna slowly get rid of you, which is nice. That's what we want. Yeah, I can take the two hits, no worries. She comes back. He's in the way of that. That's good. We'll let the sarcophagus do its thing. Or well, we could play that. I think we're going to do that. Play the automaton. Who hits him for one. Yeah, I think we're, we're good here. Delaying the sarcophagus even further. She does one. That's okay. Uh, but we're going to emerge and kill her. And we can't quite play that, but that's okay. We're going to put this down first, just to tank the two damage, because we don't need two more damage here. Why is it going bing, bing, bing? I think that's part of the music. Ah, let me inscribe this one. Okay, Banshee, turn two to turn three, death by Hrockle. Okay, live again. Great, we've got lots of bones now. Sadly... They're not going to do anything, but he's going to die this time at the hands of the Hrockle. We can't play that, can't play that. But next turn we'll be able to get him down, which is nice. And immediately kill the sarcophagus. Flip, yeah. Oh, why didn't you jump over and block? Because I wasn't playing the card. It's he He's not a mole. Okay. That's fine, we can still kill him. Uh, I think we put that down there. Nice. No matter, death is never final. So the bone hand turn one to turn five. What's that all about? Death by Steambot. That one will be back in no time. Sarcophagus was dealt overkill damage, even better. You do one to me. Crockle emerges from the deep and twats her. In a minute. Ah, we don't quite have four bones for the ghost ship. Doesn't matter. We'll leave it for now. We could destroy that. We don't need it. I'm doing it. Let's do that and get the ghost ship out. Get some skeletons attacking. I'm feeling good about this one. Banshee's dead. Turn five to turn six, death by Hrockle. And the sarcophagus, turn five to turn six, death by Steambot. Okay. Ghost ship moves to a new space. We've got a skeleton. We do three damage. Four damage, rather. Come on. Oh, you're not going to do it yet. That's fine. Uh, got nothing to put down. I'm happy with how things are going. So I take two and I do four. That's a good trade-off. Now, the Drowned Soul is really good. That's going to die anyway. Yeah, I think we just keep on doing what we're doing here. We're going to win this round. Just got to be careful we don't starve. We don't want to take this too slow. Yep, 
Great. Rock all emerges. Uh, what have we got now? Not four bones quite, sadly. You're going to move in the direction described, drop a skeleton in its old space, so you're going to get there. I wonder if he'll jump over to there when the skeleton comes in. Opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space. Bone handle will move to that empty space. Yeah. Okay. That kills that. That kills that. Yeah, we're, we're okay this turn. I am tempted to put the Banshee down. Not the Banshee, the Drowned Soul down. Another RIP. Yeah, he leaps over to block. That's good. Oh, but... Oh, so the skeleton doesn't attack on the turn that it drops. That's fine. That makes sense. But we've got four now. So you're going there. You're going to instant kill him. And away we go. I think we found our game. Kills instantly. Bye. Death by Drowned Soul. Okay. We've tipped the scales. One more life. You're halfway there. Though you may not like what comes next. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh fuck. RIP all your cards. Turn 1 to 10. Death by Grimora. Do you miss them? Fear not. I'll give them back, of course. As corpses. Okay. What the hell does this mean? You've got a zombie incoming. Right, Hrockle. Waterborne. Okay, that's fine. Why would I not just be able to play this? Oh, you. They're much weaker. They do zero damage. Interesting. Yuck. Okay. Uh, we've got four bones that could get those down. That costs one bone. We'll get you there. Tank the zombie and give me a Draugr. Steambot is zero one, so they're all zero ones. But you drop skeletons. That's actually a really good thing to have. So we'll get you down. That provides me batteries, but we do not need batteries right now. Um, I think we leave it at that for now. We don't have a maximum hand size, I don't think. Yeah, good. Jago releases the creature inside. Oh, it's just a skeleton. Damn it. Ghost ship emerges. Can't move. Uh, skeleton is going to attack this time. We're going to get that. That's all good. Should we just have a 1-1 one -one versus the airborne uh, Banshee? Hmm. We've got four bones. I think we put that down there. So we can take her out and start doing damage there as well. RIP zombie. Death by skeleton. That's going to be a mummy lord soon, which is a shame. Both skeletons die, but we get another ghost ship skeleton. Fine. Ghost ship emerges. I'm just just trying to keep up with what's going on in this game at the moment, guys. It's a bit tricky. Uh, I think we might put that there to tank the hits, although these guys can all tank his hits. We've got lots of tanks for that, but at least this way we'll start getting some damage going. Good. We're two away. Not far. New skeleton. I think we've got it this turn. No, we haven't, because the bloody bone hound came along. Okay, ghost ship emerges. Whew. Ah, now this is what I wanted. Go on. A number between. Oh, it's six. Beautiful. You're dead. You're doing one damage. You're doing one damage. You're doing nothing, but you'll move there. Is there a better play? I don't think there is. I think we just go with it. RIP Mummy Lord. Geth death by tons and tons of damage. Skeleton collapses. Ghost ship moves. They both... Yeah, I take one hit. That's no problem. We're going to do six damage this turn, and we're happy days. Uh, I mean, let's just put that there as a tank. Go. Six damage. Beautiful. Excess damage equals foils. Lovely, lovely, jubbly, jubbly. Oh, oh dear. Whew. We've lit up the deathly... the deathly one. Doomed Necromancer. You really defeated me. I was not expecting that. I see that it is your ambition to replace Magnificus, but, well, between you and I, 
They will become they will come an opportunity to change your mind. Oh, and I beg that you spare me. Take these, then go. We get more Deathly Card packs. Uh, Mummy Lord, Necromancer, Skeleton, 49er. The end of the owner's turn, 49er will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Cost two energy, it's a 1-1 one, one, and it moves around. Not bad. Add them, take another one. Broken Obol, four bones are awarded instead of one. And it costs three bones, zero, two. Eh, that's a sort of tiding me over kind of thing. Broken Obol. Ah, I bet you if you put that one next to that one, it forms something incredible. Uh, spines, okay. Necromancer, yep, we know what that one is. We've just seen the 49. A Hover Mage. Ooh, with a blue, a blue uh, mox. Strike an opponent directly, yes. Yeah. So it's Airborne 1-1. One, one. Blue mox, doesn't need a blue mox to survive. Quite like him. Might have to add him at some point. 400 min's battery low. Once again, uh-oh. Do, do you know, I got that twinge of, oh shit, it's, it's all going to stop recording because the battery turned off. Oh, hello. Cam works. Cam Winston. Battery fully charged. Let's hear from the lucky carder once more. I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. There's an elk over on the right. Hello there. And he's got a knockoff controller. My name is Luke Carter, and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? His surname is Carter. Any trace of this game? Is Luke, kind of luck. Hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the lucky Carter. There's his floppy disk drive. Okay, good enough. Sent. Good. <laughs> nice end. Okay, get out of that. 10, 12. I can't remember when our last ones were. I'm not going to go back out yet. Okay, here we go. Hey, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this... Well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do. So I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game? That's me here. Or hear about it? I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. Nice. I've been uh, filming myself playing it, and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> That's uh, what's been going on. I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell That's me why we had the camera a copy stuff. of this game. I have been looking online for days and I cannot find a word about it. That's why the, the, the battery low thing kept on appearing after we defeated Leshy and Grimoria, whatever her name was. Because it's his footage. Hoping maybe they would get back to me, but as a fallback... I got you beautiful viewers. Hopefully dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah. Uh, what the fuck is the car? Oh, what's the car? Uh, huh, huh. I'm looking up that binary code. Right, so I just put it all into a binary to text translator and it came up with Carnoffel code. Carnoffel code. I double checked that the N wasn't a T, like Kartoffel, which I think is a potato in German, but it just says Carnoffel code, which I don't think really, well, it means something, so it was intentional, but Mr. Carter, I don't think it means anything in the scale of the game. Who knows? 
version of our intellectual property inscription. I can assure you that no such software exists <laughs> in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game Funa hardware, you are compelled to return it to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Oh, wow. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned Ow. to us within a reasonable time frame. Please uh, carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Scary. GameFuna customer. GameFuna. Customer happiness. What the fuck? Oh, he's a sweary one, isn't he? Loud error there. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. Hi! Hi there! Hey. I'm floppy disk for a game called Inscription. I was told you came by a copy of it somehow. Uh, Sound familiar? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Really? Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are, a <laughs> Luke Carter, right? Oh. <laughs> you know the luckycartergmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh... wonder what happens I if you email that in real life. Right, because, uh, <laughs> I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. Kind of big fan. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Listen, uh, how did you know where I live exactly? My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, look, um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay? Will do. Take care. Ooh. That wasn't too much of a confrontation. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Another error. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Moved on from inscription then. Ah, oh, he's lost the power to open card packs. She's taken it from him. Sorry, I jest. Clearly. Something's going on. Okay. Stop browsing footage, yes. And we're back in. ISO 200, white balance 5500K. Go, I need to collect my thoughts. All right, so that's us done, I think, there, guys. Um, we're, oh, look, there's the two shrines come up, two monuments. Um, I, I'm immensely enjoying this. And just before we go, I wanna see what that is. It's a thing. It's the mycologist. Right, we're gonna come back to him shortly. Game is saved. Love and peace to all of you. I am so enjoying this game. Next episode, we're going to try going for both of those after seeing the mycologist and maybe combining some cards. Uh, what do you think so far? I've only, at the time of releasing, of recording this, I've only released the first part. So I'm way ahead. So uh, any spoilers, hopefully, in the comments. Hopefully there weren't any, but hopefully also they won't affect me. Anyway, see you on the next one. That's that button. Smash.